The workout I will provide here is based on the ancient Hellenic Tetras. You can learn more about this routine in my previous two videos detailing the subject. This one will focus solely on strength and conditioning, so it can be used by anyone, not just martial artists. It is split into two tetradas, so it's an 8-day program that can be repeated indefinitely and adjusted to any level of fitness, from beginner to advanced. As with the previous tetras, I will link this workout for free with no strings attached. It's not done for money. The channel in its entirety is a passion project. I mean, the total income it's provided isn't even a third of the expenses of just the content creation software I use to make the videos. But I believe these tetrades can really help people, especially those struggling to maintain a workout schedule, so I won't put it behind the paywall. That being said, it would be nice to have the freedom to focus on making similar content, which is why I ask those who have the means to sub to my Patreon, and those that do not, to share the video with anyone they believe might be interested. Now, what does this workout entail? As mentioned, it is split into two tetrades, and each tetras works different muscle groups and strength and conditioning attributes. But before I go into the specifics of the main workout section, I'll recap the basics of the tetras routine, and in doing so, answer some of the most common questions I've received. The ancient Hellenic tetras breaks down a workout schedule into four day intervals. Each day within this interval has different energy and effort level requirements. If we were to make a percentage scale where 0% is no effort and 100% is the exertion required to get you tired but not exhausted, then day 1 requires 75% exertion, day 2 requires 100%, day 3 requires 25%, and day 4 requires 50%. Day 1 is a warm up for day 2, day 2 is the primary muscle building day, day 3 is the recovery day, day 4 is reserved for focusing on technique be it of the exercises or of one's sport or martial art. An easy way to remember the rest is to consider that the tetras has three quadrants. The first is the four-day schedule that was mentioned. The second is the daily quadrant, which consists of the pre-warm-up, the warm-up, the main workout, and the cool-down. A microcosm of the full tetras. Many have asked, since this workout routine is already written out, what is the purpose of Pro Paraskevi? This section lets you plan the day's workout in accordance with your schedule, taking into account factors like the personal activities you have planned for the day, the weather, your location, and so forth. It is also the time allotted for preparing mentally for the workout before engaging in it. I've also received a lot of questions about breathing exercises during the cooldown period. For this, I must ask for your patience, as I have a video that I'm working on detailing the subject. Until I am able to complete this video, and one that I have planned for the Paraskevi, I will leave these sections to your discretion. Do your preferred warm-up and cool-down routines for each of the 8 days. Finally, the third quadrant belongs to the main workout. At the beginning of the video I mentioned that each tetras is set to train different strength and conditioning attributes. What did I mean by this? The Kyrios Gymnasi is separated into 4 parts, a microcosm of the daily tetras. 1. Merismos, sectioning the main workout as necessary. I usually like doing the exercises in circuits, but you can carry them out in sets, high intensity intervals, or however you see fit. 2. Iginos tropos proponisis, I'll call it HTP for short, the so called health oriented workout phase. This is where you do compound exercises that promote overall wellness. This section is also used to strengthen any muscle groups that are weak or prone to injury. For the tetrades I will provide, one tetras will focus on abs and mobility, while the other will train hips and cardio. 3. Kataskevi. Kataskevi is the section that requires the most effort in the day's workout. It is the core of the routine, meant to help us accomplish the fitness objectives we have set for the tetras. In this case, strength and conditioning. Here, one tetras will focus on pull-related exercises, biceps back, and the other tetras will focus on push-related exercises, triceps chest. 4. Kata allon tina tropon. This basically means in any other way. Therefore, this section is reserved for training that is necessary but outside of the scope of the kataskevi. Here we will train the legs. One tetras will focus on resistance training, the other on plyometrics. So as you can see, the theme of the first tetras is control. Being able to complete a full range of motion slowly and with calm, while the second tetras will focus on explosiveness, 
being able to exert the necessary amount of strength to completely maneuver during as short a time period as possible. The training attributes from one tetras complement those of the other. Without further ado, here are the two tetrades. There are four workouts that I've separated into two sections, namely push, pull, legs, and plyometrics. I've made it so that none of these workouts are done with resistance on two consecutive days. It also allows for the variance in effort levels which is necessary for the recovery period. Push and pull have two variants, calisthenics and resistance bands. You can change either of these or even both to weights. If so, I advise using less weight on the day 4 workout. If you are a beginner, start off with 2 sets of 2 exercises and slowly work your way up to 4 sets of 4 exercises. Additionally, you can use more manageable variants of the exercises listed add less resistance, or do fewer reps or sets. You should follow each tetras with the next consecutively, unless you feel too sore to continue. In this case, take a break before moving on to the next workout. There is never a rush. You never want to work yourself to exhaustion. In the end, it does more harm than good. If you want to show off your discipline, there are better modes of action to do so. Remember, the tetras is meant to put you in a cycle where working out becomes a welcome challenge and a part of your daily routine that needs to be accomplished. Give it at least three weeks, after which you should be used to the training and can start seeing the habit forming. Another tip I can give for those who listen to music during exercise is to create four different playlists, pre-warm-up, warm-up, workout, and cool-down, with a gradually increasing intensity that peaks during the third section, followed by calm, soothing music for the cool-down. Exercising isn't just about becoming sculpted like the ancient Hellenic ideal. It is about reaching your physical potential and using it to accomplish any fitness objectives you seek. These can be achieving success in athletic competition or simply attaining a healthier lifestyle. Either way, this set of tetrades will help you reach the strength and conditioning goals you have set.